Hi, I'm Spike Jenkins, General Director of Seattle Opera. Join me in this episode of The Road to Valhalla as we explore the special effects for this ring, including how the Rhine daughters swim and how long and hard they train to undertake that part of the opera. Hello, I'm Bob Schaub. We're backstage, stage right, and we're going to talk for a moment about the, uh, the dragon, which is one of our bigger special effects. You can see over my shoulder, this is the backstage view of what some of the stagehands have named Fluffy. There's a couple of different things that happen with the dragon, and one is this big, giant dragon wing, which opens and closes. And it's controlled by these large handles. There's three operators that control that. Over here, you can see that the, the dragon is controlled electronically through a, a series of motors which then raises and lowers and opens the mouth and allows it to manipulate around the, the big cliff face that it, that it appears from. The main operator operates from a monitor. It's over my shoulder here. And so Tim Buck, our, our main operator, will sit in this chair and his view of the dragon is on the monitor. It's very difficult because if you could imagine trying to operate a video game kind of backwards, his controls, because he's looking at it on a monitor, what would control the right side is really controlling the left side and of course vice versa. So it's a, it takes a lot of practice to get that hand-eye coordination down. The small tail of the dragon that Siegfried first discovers and begins to battle with in the scene it is controlled by this device. I know it looks pretty uh, Rube Goldberg-y, um, but it's a series of cables. Think about sort of a big puppet, and the operator can make the tail swing to the right, swing to the left, uh, you know, sort of fight with, with Siegfried. When we first built the dragon, the skin itself, we built it out of a latex product, which was sort of what a Halloween mask might might be made out of. And what happened over the first uh, four years of storage, that deteriorated. And in fact, when we pulled it out of storage and got it back in the shop, it just fell apart on us. So we rebuilt the skin of the dragon using silk. And so now it's a complete silk skin surface over an internal armature, which has all the cables and pulleys and all the things that make it work. I'm Tim, the master stage card runner and the pyro designer for the ring cycle. We're just going to take a look, quick look at how we operate the fire for Brunhilde's ledge. So this is the place where the gas comes into the ledge unit right there and then it's distributed through the sections. Each uh, fire that you see around the whole thing is composed of valves, solenoid valves that are fired electronically and um, these little boxes have uh, igniter parts in them that make a little spark kind of like a barbecue sort of thing. The trees are made out of steel and the ledge is made out of a fire mortar with the burners inside of it there. One of the more difficult effects that we have in this ring of course are the flying Rhine maidens. We spend literally weeks rehearsing the Rhine maidens just in fixed uh, position. Uh, it goes leotard, you know? They come out and uh, we put down little pads on the concrete here. And uh, the guys that are operating their tiller lines each are addressed to a specific Rhine Maiden. And they'll be the people who put them into their harnesses. I will come by and check where the pivot points are to make sure that their balance is correct. The balance point is very exact for each girl and very different. And once they're in the air, we check their balance to see whether they can get over horizontal and then dip down and then be able to go back to vertical again. And then finally we bring them over to the stage where we put them in the harnesses and introduce them to their operators, that is the two men that then control all the movement on the stage. And they rehearse that for another two weeks before we open. Okay. 
I can't hear you. Go. So, in the end, it's about seeing the production. So come see the rain.